Good morning, everybody. Well, it's actually afternoon. I woke up very late because I don't get to sleep at night. But I get to sleep once my mom wakes up and she takes over Vivi's looking after. And then I sleep in the morning. And what were you saying? And I was saying that I'm going to take up the challenge, not the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> it's horrible, it's stupid, it's a show off, it's nothing. I know, I think people should just donate instead. Yeah. Instead of showing off that they've taken up the challenge. Yeah, we, you can do it silently. You, you don't have to put it up on Facebook or any other social media that you're doing the Ice Bucket Challenge. Because basically it started, the Ice Bucket Challenge is you either donate or you do the challenge. I mean, you or you put the, you or you do the challenge. But now people are doing the challenge as a mean of popularity contest or something. And probably even donating. Like, I donate, but my family also doesn't know that I have donated. So that's called a donation. But I'm now telling you. Yeah. So, my challenge today is, I've been living out of suitcases <laughs> from the time I have landed in America. So That's from June. when? April? No, June. June, yeah. June, oh, yeah, dad yeah. came in April, yeah. Yeah, so I'm living out of the boxes, it's mm -hmm. called. So, my challenge today is... Mm. I'm going to empty my suitcase today. I am going to. Let's see. The, yes. Let's look at the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not look at my bed because that is really messy. <laughs> and there's a suitcase. Those are the three suitcases. The, well, the red one is mine and that one is Vivi's. The whole lot of diapers came in that suitcase. So that was filled with diapers. Yeah, and this, this is my mom's. Is mine, <laughs> and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to do it today. <laughs> Challenge. Somebody woke up. Miss Grumpy. Miss Grumpy. Hey. Vivi. 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 Hi, I just tried on this new hairstyle. I thought I'd show you guys. See, you see this part? It's almost like a typical braid, but um, but then you pull it shorter. But anyways, I'm gonna go up to the parlor right now. Can you see how long my hair is? And it's pretty flat, so I'm gonna go and trim it. I don't want to chop it off properly, but trim it a little bit, give it a little bounce because it's kind of flat on top over here. I am so nervous to go cut my hair. I haven't cut my hair since January. Yeah, because actually the thing is, during pregnancy with your hormones, you have a lot of hair. I mean, your hair growth is awesome. So <clears throat> I had like a really nice, shiny head full of hair. But now that I've given birth, um now that i've given birth my hormones have gone back to normal and i'm starting to lose hair and i have a lot of split ends since january imagine january till august almost end of august so that's like almost eight well eight months but almost nine months because it's the end so <clears throat> i'm really scared to cut my hair because i've had so many bad experiences with cutting my hair like they either cut it off too short or the last time in January I went to this parlor I mean my husband took me to this parlor I miss him so much yeah so we went to the parlor to get our hair cut together and I asked them to cut my hair in layers and you know what they did they just took like little clumps of my hair a little bit here and you chop it off here and you chop it off there that's what they did and I got so annoyed and think about here and then I told my husband do not give tips over here I mean, at least for my, my, uh, my haircut, because I didn't like it at all. I wasn't happy. And then after that, my hair became really, I mean, with the hormones, my hair was really nice and I didn't want to cut it. So now it's really out of shape. As you can see, there is no shape to it. So I'm going to get it. At least I'm not going to try. I'll try not to get the, um, the length short, but I'm going to give it some shape. Let's hope 
they can do it because it's really hard i'm never really satisfied with there there has been very few times that i've been satisfied with my haircut and january was not one of them <laughs> so i looked up this parlor that i'm going to on yelp i did a lot of research in my neighborhood but this happened to be right in walking distance so i'm still in my neighborhood as you can see the townhouses in and around me <clears throat> so this is just like walking across the across the road so i'm kind of lucky that way i don't have to go too far and gosh i didn't have my sunglasses i packed them up and it's gone to ohio and it's sunny here it's really hot in louisiana here so let's see you'll see me after the haircut i hope it grows great i'm so nervous i'm really nervous i get like these panic attacks and i really don't like cutting my hair because i've had so many bad experiences but let's see this has to be done well it's done and i'm pretty happy with it i didn't cut off chop off the length but i asked her to give me some nice volume for the top so yeah i like it so i'm back home and this is what i see my mom doing she has finally emptied the suitcase in the closet and <laughs> and it's getting organized yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of clothes i can hear somebody waking up vivi vivi is somebody waking up Vivi Hi Are you waking up? What's up with your hair? Huh? What's up with your hair? <laughs> Hi Vivi Good morning Good morning It's actually good evening it's 4:35. Hi. 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 Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Hi. Hey. Look at your hair. What has happened to your hair today? <laughs> Those unmanageable hair. Hey. Hey. Hi, Vivi. Hi, Vivi. Where's your toy? There. Mm, 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 mm. Hey. Hey. Mm. Little zebra. Little zebra. Hi, baby. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to build muscles doing the bicep curl. You'll need a baby, preferably a newborn, and then you hold her like this, and then you go down, and go down, and <laughs> it will fall. No, don't do that. And up. she's fine. And then if you're done, then you can start. And then you—that's how you make biceps. <laughs> Dad's gone off with the baby, and we're at City Park, one of the largest. Is it the sixth largest? Sixth largest in U.S. And we're here at City Park, New Orleans. And it's huge, huge. I don't think I can cover it in one day. Where are they? Oh, they're there. So, oh, there's one thing I should show you. This huge oak tree has these wind chimes set up on it and now it's a good day it's windy 
we'll be able to hear the chimes. Can you see them? There. Beautiful. It's like you're in the in the Buddhist temple. Wow. Lovely. I'm gonna give you a para paranormal? No. Wait, what's that word? Para Wait, what the key? That para thing? You know how you have to you do this? I forgot Pan the word. Panoramic, oh god. I was saying paranormal. <laughs> you should do the Zen Tai Chi. That's the one that resonates the most, that huge wind chime. Yeah, so panoramic's the word. <laughs> Silly mommy. Mommy's got baby brains. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many ducks. Geese. Whoa, 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 whoa. Duck attack! <laughs> there are so many ducks. They actually come up to you. They're not scared of you. <laughs> so we've come back to the singing oak has got made out of aluminium alloy tuned to the pentatoic scale it is so nice look at that <laughs> 